You know, on Iran, uh, the president's policy uh, is not regime change. It never has been. Uh, I've said many, many things over the years before I took this job uh, on a wide variety of subjects. I've hardly hidden my views under a bushel basket. Uh, but in this job, I'm the national security advisor. I'm not the national security decision maker. And uh, obviously, the president dictates the policy. Uh, and that's certainly true on North Korea as well. The president is very determined that neither Iran nor North Korea will get deliverable nuclear weapons. Uh, he has been fully prepared to negotiate with either or both countries. He said so since the 2016 campaign. He's held two summit meetings with uh, Kim Jong-un, a precedent breaking a, a pair of summits, uh, and he's held fast to the uh, position he's expressed there that uh, he wants to see all of uh, North Korea's uh, nuclear weapons program eliminated. So I think his position is very clear, and that's obviously the, the position of the administration. Well, I've said it was almost certainly the case that Iran was responsible for the attack on the tankers. We expect that the countries of the vessels involved, Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, and Norway will uh, in due course, and I think fairly shortly, make public the results of their investigations. Uh, I don't think anybody who knows the region has any doubt uh, who staged those attacks or the attacks on the uh, Saudi pipeline pumping stations, whether Iran or their surrogates. We've made it very clear that this kind of behavior uh, is not something they should be engaged in, and we've made it particularly clear that if American citizens or facilities are threatened, or attacked, uh, that there will be uh, a very strong response.